into their their party or their uh, their classes later. I'll be doing that personally. Right, he only steals from us and in the empire. And this is the this is the church. Oh yes, and this is I believe also where you oh yeah nothing happened. I think you just walk up to it and it starts doing stuff. It like resurrects people and cures poison and all that kind of stuff. I think you know I have to double check that. What's up? Oh, it's Gordon. He's nothing more than a coward. He left his brother Scott to die on the battlefield. Do I really want to help this guy? Fine, Wild Rose. So you're volunteering then? Just reject me that I stayed here and wasting away. That's pretty much all we can do for him. Uh, there's the item shop. We'll just show what's here as well. We have three item dudes. Uh, high potion, uh, regular potions. He has high potions. Thank God. Oh my God, we so need those in Final Fantasy One. Uh, it was hitting so annoying. This guy has a cross, which nullifies curse of mallet, which <laughs> cures amnesia, which is awesome. You know, I have, I have amnesia. Conk. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling a lot better actually. Uh, Maiden's Kiss, of course, cures Toad and Gold Needle, cures Stone. Yeah, they're still stoning in this game. What do you have? Phoenix Downs? Finally, Phoenix Downs. Ethers, uh, because we actually have MP in this game. Cottages, of course, uh, fully restores HP and MP, not just some of it like it did in Final Fantasy 1. And we have Elixirs, which are insanely overpriced, but they can be used in battle. Um, but yeah, we're talking about 10 times as expensive as a cottage. That's too much. That's just too much. Plus, especially since we only have 400 gil. Um, it's 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 kind of hard to imagine us getting that right now. Fifty thousand gil. I mean, what are you gonna do with that? Okay, so um, pretty much my strategy right now is um, get everybody a, a leather glove. <laughs> everybody gets one. No, they both get the pair. Yeah, fine. That's fine. And then um, uh, then I'm gonna get the cure spell. I'm gonna save uh, save fifty g. 50, 50 gil for, for something later on and nobody gets a weapon. Everybody has their little basic set right now. Bye. Cure. Yeah, you, you can't equip it from here, what you have to do. Um, just have to go to, I believe, magic. No. Items. There we go. Cure. And I'm going to have Luke learn it right now. Um, he's going to be pretty much my white mage for this early part of the game. And then uh, here's how you equip. Everybody can, of course, do the strongest. But now they also have this, the best defense, which is nice. They give you a couple options here for optimizing. Um, I, I just want to do the strongest for everybody. Um, it's pretty much the same. So as you can see, Luke has the broadsword, buckler, leather armor, leather gloves. Nova has a bow. She has a shirt and uh, leather gloves. And of course, Bro just has an axe, leather armor, and leather gloves. So that's pretty much all we can do in town right now, I believe. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, well, I'm going to go level grind a little bit. Um, what level am I right now? Um, well, there, are, there aren't levels in this game, I apologize. Um, it's kind of a weird system, so let's go ahead and show off one battle here, and I'll explain it just a bit. You know, I'm no expert on this system, but I know it a little bit. So I'll teach you what I do now while I can. Once again, I like hanging out in the forest simply because I think that the battling uh, rate is a little bit higher here, the random cattle rate. Uh, of course goblins, and of course they go first. But really, in my first battle, the guy ran away. Um, what you want to do is whatever class you're going to be trying to make the guy, the, the character, into, you want to do that as much as possible. Um, Furion, uh, Luke, I should say, is going to be kind of an all-around attacker slash healer. Nova's going to be my uh, black mage, but as you can see right now, she doesn't have any spells because I couldn't afford it, so she's just going to attack, and Bro is going to be my tank. So he's, of course, going to attack. 18 damage is enough for the win. Um, but once again, yeah, you get six skill, and Luke's strength increased because he he used 
an actual attack there. Okay, so I'm going to be leveling up out here pretty much. It's just stat gains. There's no there's no actual levels in this game. So I will show you my stats when I'm done. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, I forgot. There are a couple new enemies here. that We have stranglers. So I'm going to do what I can with them. Uh, you hit that one there. Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be enough for him. Oh, bro, missed. Come on, bro. Hit the dude. Yeah, they don't... Uh, that's what everybody loves to see. Everybody miss constantly. You know what? Everybody hit that one. How about we try it that way? Down goes one. That one should go as well. Yeah, bro is the beefiest guy in terms of physical attacking right now. Right now, just trying to get some money, trying to get some uh, some stack gains here. I get 36 gil for that. Uh, Nova strengths increased, bro's HP increased because he got hit. Yeah, it's kind of a, a weird system, uh, but this is this is how the system works in this game. Okay, I'm gonna do quite a bit more level grinding. I say level grinding, even though there's no levels because it's a force of habit. But I'm gonna be doing that. And uh, if, if I do encounter more enemy, new enemies, I'll be showing them off here. Otherwise, I'm cutting them all the way out, and I'll meet you back in town. Be right back. Okay, we do have another new enemy here. This is a Hornet, and I want Bro to take it out. Because I don't know how much HP it has, so I'm just kind of hoping that whatever he does is enough. But it wasn't, and the, the Hornet ran away anyways. But that's a Hornet. Awesome. Okay, I have grinded to uh, to pretty much where I'm happy right now. As you can see, Luke and Bro's HP has gone up, and Luke and Nova's MP have gone up as well. Uh, Luke still has the uh, the cure spell. Um, he's at uh, his mastery of it is at 117. Um, Nova is at 156 on her fire spell. Uh, yeah, I've been spamming that like nobody's business. If we look at the overall skills, you can see that his broadsword and shield masteries have gone up. Um, that's because he's been using them. If we look at Nova, her uh, her bow skills are up. I did equip her with a staff as well for a little bit there, but I think for now I'm going to keep her on the bow. Uh, Bro, on the other hand, has been using an axe. I just got him this javelin, so he hasn't had a chance to really use it yet. But look at the strength and all that kind of stuff. That's That's way up for everybody. 15 strength, 15 endurance. That's awesome for Bro. Um, he's got 10 intelligence, though. That's more than Luke right now, uh, but Luke will definitely pass him shortly. Okay, so we're gonna move on now. We're actually gonna actually go somewhere, which is which is nice from time to time. Or I could take one step and get into a fight. That'd be awesome, too. And it's just goblins! Good lord! Now, just like the first game, almost as a nod to the first game, we have to cross the bridge. Right there. Just a little bridge right there. Okay, then we keep on heading north. Do we have new enemies on this side of the bridge? I doubt it. Uh, no, but we do have hornets, and we didn't really get a chance to see those. So I'm going to show off a little, a, a few things that are different about this one. Uh, this game as opposed to the last one in terms of the battle system that I didn't get to show before. Um, you'll notice that Maria is staying behind everybody else a little bit. That's because she's in the back row. There are rows in this game. Um, I'm going to be using fire. I pretty much always use fire. If you use the R1 and the L1 buttons, it'll give you a choice between attacking one hornet or attacking all of them. I want to attack all of them. It does split the damage, but I'm okay with that. It's probably not enough to kill him right now. Um, oh, I did get one of them. Sweet. And already they're up to five hit combos. Yeah, the combos really stack up really fast in this game. It's pretty crazy. Um, even at level one, you can start to get the combos going. Okay, so we head north, and it looks like we've already found our second town. Now, we're in the marshlands right here, which is an awesome place to be, but we still only have goblins. Goblins in the marshes! So up to this town we go. What do we have in here? This is the town of what was it? G Gatria, Gatria. I, I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Anyways, are you my human sign? Do, are you? Will you talk to me? Uh, you are my human sign. What is up? This is the village of Gatria. Gatria. Finn is across the lake. See, and then he turns around. 
Uh, kids do that. They'll just stop talking to you mid-sentence. Uh, we do have another weapon shop here. Do you have anything new? What do you have? Uh, he has the javelin, the broadsword, the axe. Uh, the axe is new. And, yeah, the bow. I don't have nearly enough money to buy anything right now, though. I spent it all in the previous town. We do have the inn here. The inn does not have a set price. It basically goes off of how much you need to heal. That's the price of the inn. Um, it's usually around uh, 10 or 12. I assume all the items are the same here as well. What's up, old man? The gates of Castle Finn have been locked by the Imperial Army occupying it. We can't go in there. The town has changed, too. Now you only see Imperial soldiers and monsters there. That sucks. Uh, there's the church. There's the steeple. Open up the doors. There are all the people. Oh, man, that was lame. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Oh. No, not the barkeep. Oh, that sucks. I am so... Get... Getting a drink at that bar, I'm telling you that right now. I'm sorry, the tavern. The Imperial Army hasn't come this far, but the construction of the Dreadnought. Ooh, everybody's scared of this Dreadnought. It's like the freaking Death Star of Final Fantasy 2. Um, looks like he's pretty much got the same thing. Oh, he does have leather army armor, which I do need for Maria. Okay, Nova! Sorry, I'm still used to the to the official names. I'll get used to, to what I named you guys. Don't worry about it. And already we're out of town. Is that it? Really? It feels like there should be so much more here, but there's not. So we are going to heal up. And um, then we'll, uh, we'll tackle on uh, Finn up to the north. You can see the gates a little bit from the world map there. We will be heading there next time. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.